Hi, I'm Dave, and I know comics. Do you want a superhero team made up of Technicolor astronauts? Do you want a superhero team that isn't the Power Rangers? And do you want a superhero team that's had its rich lore now ruined twice because it became an American cartoon? Then allow me to introduce to you my client for Dave Knows Comics Honest Promos, the No-Go Lions, the Robocats, the legendary offender of people who remember the original show, Voltron. Behold, the franchise that 80s kids look back on as the most lethal toy in their entire collection. Not only did it come fully loaded with small choking hazard missiles, but it was also the last toy that many of us had that was still made out of metal. Heavy metal, that is. Because many of us remember that a single go line was the best weapon to beat your little brother with whenever he got out of pocket. Unless, of course, you had the cheap plastic version. In which case, it just meant that your parents didn't love you. But anyway, Voltron is back now and on Netflix and brought to you by the same minds behind The Legend of Korra. And apparently, they haven't gotten all the social justice out of their system yet, because they decided to represent diversity by changing character ethnicity, sexual orientation, and gender. Well, still having the team's original leader being a Japanese character, played by a non-Asian actor. That's right, they took a Japanese cartoon character that was made white in the original American version, and then made him Japanese again in the new American version, but had him played by Josh Keaton. Yeah, this whole thing's almost as confusing as the fact that they had a bunch of robots that were made to look like a bunch of lions, which then joined together to make one giant robot. Even though what's really confusing is, why did a bunch of aliens create robots that look like an Earth animal? And why don't all the paladins wear colors that match their lions? And why does no one point out that with no manes, these lions are all clearly female? But hey, Voltron isn't here to make sense, it's here to deliver on a very odd uh, Japanese obsession with giant fighting robots which was somehow largely inspired by Spider-Man of all people? Even though the whole show is really just a weird mishmash of old sci-fi tropes mixed together with a predictable pattern of good guys have a plan, plan seemingly fails killing off a main character, only to have that main character live, and then miraculously triumph through some form of pseudoscience magic that they won't bother to explain for at least a whole another season. Although, to be fair, it's really not that much of a wait since I feel like there's a brand new season every single time I turn on Netflix. But in the end, if you want a superhero team that postpones storytelling payoffs by making you wait so long that you don't even care when you get them, and a superhero team whose toys were just Gundams for really lazy people, then allow me to introduce to you my client for Dave Knows Comics Honest Promos. Activate Interlock, Dino Therms Connected, and for sales off, Mega Thrusters are go, the Voltron Force. Seriously, the transformation sequence was the coolest part of the original series with the animation and the music and everything. How did they manage to make it so boring on Netflix? Way to prove that computer animation will never be as good as cell animation. Good job, guys.